Good morning, students. Today I will teach you addition of fraction. Before starting the chapter, we will discuss about the fraction. We will revise again the fraction. So, student, what is fraction? Fraction is a equal part of the whole. When we divide a whole thing into different equal parts, each part is called fractional numbers. Okay, students? So, when one whole is divided into equal parts, each part is called fractional numbers. The numeral written above the line segment, that is called numerator. And the numeral below the line segment, that is called denominator. Like 5 by 18. 5 is called numerator. And 18 is for denominator. So students, understood? Now we will talk about the different types of fraction. First is like fraction. Okay student, first is like fraction. Today I will teach you addition of fraction. Before starting the chapter, we will discuss about the fraction. We will revise again the fraction. So student, what is fraction? Fraction is a equal part of a whole. When we divide a whole thing into different equal parts, each part is called fractional numbers. Okay students? So, when one whole is divided into equal parts, each part is called fractional numbers. The numeral written above the line segment, that is called numerator. And the numeral below the line segment, that is called denominator. Like 5 by 18. 5 is called numerator. And 18 is for denominator. So, students, understood? Now, we will talk about the different types of fraction. First is like fraction. Okay student? First is like fraction. When two or more fractions are called like fraction if their denominators are same. Like 4 by 8, 3 by 8, 5 by 8. These are called like fraction. But when two or more fractions have different denominators like 2 by 3, 4 by 9, 5 by 6, that is called unlike fraction. That is called like the same denominator, like fraction, different denominator, unlike fraction. Proper fraction. In a proper fraction, numerator is less than the denominator. Numerator is less than the denominator. Like 4 by 8, 3 by 5, 6 by 9. These are called proper fraction. What is this? Proper fraction. And 
in improper fraction numerator is bigger than the denominator numerator is greater than the denominator like 9 by 8 10 by 5 6 by 7 these are called improper fraction so it is like fraction denominators are same unlike fraction denominators are different proper fraction numerator is less than the denominator in proper fraction denominator is less than numerator numerator is greater than the denominator and in a mixed fraction a whole number and a fractional number is present in mixed fraction and in proper fraction is converted into a whole number and a fraction it is called mixed number like 4 3 by 8 it is called mixed fraction okay friends these are the types of fraction now we will discuss about the equivalent fraction when two or more fractions are called like fraction if their denominators are same like 4 by 8 3 by 8 5 by 8 these are called like fraction but when two or more fractions have different denominators like 2 by 3 4 by 9 5 by 6 that is called unlike fraction that is called like the same denominator like fraction different denominator unlike fraction proper fraction in a proper fraction numerator is less than the denominator numerator is less than the denominator like 4 by 8 3 by 5 6 by 9 these are called proper fraction what is the proper fraction and in improper fraction numerator is bigger than the denominator numerator is greater than the denominator like 9 by 8 10 by 5 6 by 7 these are called improper fraction like fraction denominators are same unlike fraction denominators are different proper fraction numerator is less than the denominator in proper fraction denominator is less than numerator numerator is greater than the denominator and in a mixed fraction a whole number and a fractional number is present in mixed fraction and in proper fraction is converted into a whole number and a fraction it is called mixed number like 4 3 by 8 it is called mixed fraction okay students these are the types of fraction now we will discuss about the equivalent fraction students now 
we will discuss equivalent fraction the fraction which represents the same part of a whole are known as equivalent fraction like 2 by 6 and 3 by 9 Two and two, two three and six, three one and three, three three and nine. Here one fraction part is the same, so it is for equivalent fraction. In equivalent fraction, lowest term will be the same. Now in the next video I will teach you addition of fraction